Crosby wrote that song, or at least the lyrics. She wrote more than 8,000 hymns. During her adult life, under contract, she wrote three hymns a week. Three hymns a week for decades. Did I mention she was blind? She was completely blind. She would formulate songs in her mind and then she would dictate them to people. So one day, a friend of hers, whose husband was the founder of Metropolitan Life Insurance Company, came over because she had a melody and she wanted Fanny to listen to the melody. She played it turned around, Fanny had dropped to her knees and just had this like beautific look on her face. And she said, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. She already had the first lines and she very quickly wrote this song. It taps into a lot of different scriptures. My favorite line is filled with his goodness, lost in his love. But I'm struck by how visual this hymn is, written by a person who could not see. Reminds me of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. It says, the path we walk is charted by faith, not by what we see with our eyes. And so I want to read through the lyrics. And if you want to close your eyes, unless you're driving or doing something else that requires you to be able to see. And I 
just want us to picture with the internal eyes of faith, maybe, what Fanny Crosby was saying in this hymn. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I, in my Savior, am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. Grace and peace to you.